So what I'm going to show you today is how to uh, change your IP address if you're connected to a modem. Now, this will vary depending on your operating system. For this test, we are using Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit edition. As I just mentioned, uh, if you're on Windows XP, somewhere in this area you will have a uh, place to click where it says run. Well, instead of that, we do this on here. CMD and then you right click it and you click run as an administrator. When you're prompted to, you click yes or no. And we're going to click yes. And now this is open. In this box, we type uh, ipconfig forward slash release now the next thing you want to do is type ipconfig forward slash renew After a few seconds, you will have a brand new IP address. And that's how you refresh your IP when you're on a modem. And there's no router involved. What you're going to want to do is open your Internet Explorer or web browser, uh, Firefox, Chrome, whatever you use. So you go down to here, uh, if you're on Windows 7, You open your web browser, go up to the address bar, type in your router's gateway. Mine is not a default, but most of the time they are 1. Uh, 192.168.0.1. Mine is different. Next, you're going to want to type in your uh, username for your router and the password. Depending on your um, uh, depending on your uh, router, your interf your uh, user interface is going to look different. Um, your settings will look different. Uh, mine's fairly simple, um, and the way to renew the IP is to simply click disconnect. Wait about 10 seconds and click connect again. And there you go, you have a brand new IP address. Now, if you have a static IP address, it's very hard to change. Uh, what you're going to have to do is call your internet service provider or ISP and ask them to change it for you. Some ISPs will not change it for you unless you pay an additional fee, which gives you a block of static IP addresses. So you can choose between like five or ten different IP addresses that are static that are assigned to your computer or your account. So if you have an I static IP address, you will have to call into your internet service provider and have them change it for you.